Hi friends, here I am again, and I'm going to tell you more about Socrates. You have already made your first quiz. Now it's time to launch it. So, click on the launch button. Select the quiz button. Select the quiz you want to launch. Let's choose the instant feedback option. The functions require names and show question feedback are already selected. You can add more, like for instance, shuffle questions and shuffle answers, which present questions and answers in random order. If you select open navigation, students can answer the questions in any order they choose, and they can even change their answers until they finish the test. You may select the same options you found in instant feedback but, unfortunately, show question feedback has not been made active, because students can change answers before submitting, while one attempt is available only in the Socrative Pro. With teacher paste option, you control the flow of questions, send one question at a time, and observe responses as they happen. You can also skip and revisit questions. Now let's select the Reports tab. Here you can decide which type of report you prefer. Get Reports gives you three options to save the reports. Whole Class Excel will save results in a typical Excel chart. Individual Students PDF creates a PDF file. Reporting the results of each student. Question specific PDF releases a report referring to each answer. You can even choose to get all the three types of report. Now, how would you like to get your report? You can have them sent by email. You can download them, or get them on Google Drive. Now I will explain how the students will do the quiz. First of all each student will log in by clicking on Student Login. Digit the room name. Click on Join. Enter their name. And click on Done and the first question will appear. When they are sure they will click on submit answer and go on until the last question is submitted. Now let's get an end of class polls check by clicking on exit ticket. This means students will answer three questions which will allow the teacher to get precious feedback from the class. As usual, the students must be logged in. Then they will answer two default questions. How well did you understand today's material? What did you learn in today's class? Please answer the teacher's question. Beware! The teacher will have to write the question on the blackboard, since it is not possible to digit it in Socrative. And now let's talk about quick questions. With quick question you can create the quiz at the moment and know immediately the percentage of the students who answered. Of course you can choose among multiple choice, true or false and short answer quizzes. It's time to play a game. Select Space Race. Choose a quiz and click on Next. With the free version you can choose the number of teams in the icon but you can have no countdown. Sorry! The teams can be assigned automatically, or can be chosen by students. On the right you find the same options as the other quizzes, except require names and one attempt. This last option is not provided in the free version. Again, sorry. At the end of the game you will be able to get a report, as it happens in the other quizzes. And now let's play. Watch the rockets racing as students answer the quizzes individually or in teams. I hope you've enjoyed this video.
Anyway, the webinar is not finished. Now you have to go through the next steps if you want to know Socrative in every detail. Bye-bye, friends.